This is the book of St. John chapter 15 and verse 1. I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Ka Allah, Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Quidash, double honors to the men who taught me this truth, the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Also, peace and blessings to my fellow yokesmen, the hopeful elect that continue in the work of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Also, to the believers, the Akim, Wa Akwathim, that continue to believe upon the names, Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai, in all fear, Shalom. St. John 15 and verse 1 again. I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. This is going to be a lesson centered around Yahweh Shai being that centerpiece to our salvation. And without going through Yahweh Shai, as the scripture tells us, we can't be cleansed in the sight of the Father. All right? Because mainly our people, all right, those that cling to the Old Testament, they don't believe in our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. All right? St. John 14 and verse 6 tells us, and these are the words of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. And he was speaking unto Thomas. It says, Yahweh Shai said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So Yahweh Shai clearly explains unto us that he is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man can be cleansed in the sight of the Most High, or no man can come to the Most High, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, but through him. Once again, that's why Yahweh Shai is called the mediator. All right? And you can find that in the book of First Timothy. All right? Chapter 2 and verse 5. You got simple guys. The first one that come to mind is this guy, Rap the News. That's on a campaign to debunk Yahweh Shai, all right? Which he's clearly showing that he are the uh, the ones that are coming back to fulfill their lot. The same ones that walked the earth when Yahweh Shai walked the earth and they shunned Yahweh Shai. They screamed, um, let Barabbas go, all right, and kill Yahweh Shai, so to speak. Roughly paraphrasing the words that they spoke. These guys like that are coming back to fulfill their lot. To show that they hate Yahweh Shai. Alright, Yahweh Shai said your enemies are going to be those that are of your house. Or those that are of the fold of your house. Roughly paraphrasing. Meaning, um, your own people are going to be the ones that hate you the most. But Yahweh Shai is the mediator. Alright, he's the in-between. He's the way that the Most High have set up for you to come back unto him. Alright, First Timothy 2 and verse 5 it says... For there is one power, which is the Most High, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and one mediator between the Most High and men, the man, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. The word mediator in the Strong's G, the pronunciation. Strong's G, 3316, Mesites. Mesites. It says, one who intervenes between two. So Yahweh Shah have intervened between the Most High and us being the believers, either in order to make or restore peace and friendship. So Yahweh Shah has intervened by putting himself upon the cross, becoming a perfect servant, which is shedding his blood for the elect, to make or restore peace and friendship, or form a compact or for ratifying a covenant. See that? It says, a medium of communication, an arbitrator. And Yahweh Shai is that main arbitrator. He is the medium of communication. That's why we must go through Yahweh Shai and solely believe in Yahweh Shai to deliver us. But those that shun their salvation, all right, shall see death. All right? Now, let's jump to the book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 1 
and verse 19. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us who believe? All right, and who believe are those that have been given the gift of faith, Ephesians 2 and 8, which is a gift freely given unto us by the Most High. All right. Now it says, according to the working of his mighty power, verse 20, it says, which he had wrought in Hamashiach when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. And we can read about that in Revelation, the fifth chapter, where Yahweh Shai, um took the book out of the Most High's hand. That's why Yahweh Shai is worthy. And all of the angels, all right, all of the elders in heaven worship Yahweh Shai. They fell down and worship Yahweh Shai. So we being upon earth, what should we do? We should also worship Yahweh Shai because he's the Lord and Savior, all right? His name is a nomen omen, which means name prediction, all right? Yah meaning he, Yahweh Shai means delivers or saves. And that was all the way in the beginning, Yahweh Shai being the first begotten of the Most High. So we upon the earth should also worship our Lord and Savior. All right. Verse, verse 21 says, far above, this is Yahweh Shai, all right, far above all principality and power and might and dominion. So Yahweh Shai is above all angels, all powers, all might, all rulership. It says, in every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. All right. So in the world that we're living in right now, under this rulership that we're living in right now. All right. And the world to come, which is the kingdom of heaven that shall be placed upon earth. The name Yahweh Shai is going to be placed above all names. The book of Philippians. Chapter 2 and verse 9, it says, Wherefore the Mosa also have highly exalted him, that him being Yahweh Shai, and given him a name, Yahweh Shai, which is above every name. See that? That, that at the name of Yahweh Shai, every knee should bow. Of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. See that? It says, and that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shah HaMashiach is Lord, the glory of the power, the Father. See that? Hebrews 1 and verse 4. It says, being made so much better. Then the angels have he have by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. And that inheritance is uh, receiving a, a glory or to be concentrated because Yahweh Shai is the true concentrated one. All right. Or should I say consecrated? All right. Which is to be made clean. Okay. Yahweh Shai is the true uh, consecrated one. All right. That's why his name is more excellent than all of the rest. Him being the savior. So let's jump back to Ephesians. One. Let's read 21 again. Far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named. Not only in this world, but also in that which is to come, verse 22, and have put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church. St. Matthew chapter 28 and 18.
And Yehowashai came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. And why is that? St. Matthew 17 and verse 5. It says, I'm going to start at, I'm going to start at three. It says, and behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elias talking with him. Then answered Peter and said unto Yahweh, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If thou wilt, let us make here three tabernacles, one for thee and one for Moses and one for Elias, all right? Moses represents the law, and Elias represents the prophets, and Yahweh Shah represents the fulfillment of both. Verse 5, while he yet spake, behold, behold means see or look. So while Peter spake, look, a bright cloud, which uh, represents what? A huge chariot overshadowed them, and beheld a voice out of the cloud, which saith, and this is the voice of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, this is my beloved son, all right? Yahweh Shai is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. And why is the Most High well pleased in Yahweh Shai? Because Yahweh Shai came as a faithful servant, and he completed the will of the Most High. Hear ye him. So Yahweh Shai is glorified on the right hand of the Most High. Hear ye him, all right? Let's jump back to Ephesians. 1 and 22 again and have put all things under his feet and we just read St. Matthew 28 and 18 and St. Matthew 17 um, 4 and 5 and this is why everything is put under Yahweh Shai's feet and he have put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church alright because Yahweh Shai as the book of Hebrews 2 and 7 tells us thou made of him a little lower than the angels thou crownest him with glory and honor and did have set him over the works of thy hand thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet for in that he put all in subjection under him. He left nothing that is not put under him. But now we see not yet all things put under him. Okay. Let's keep reading verse 9. But we see Yahweh Shai, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death. Because he was put in a body. Crowned with glory and honor that he may, that he by the grace of the Most High should taste death for every man. So that's why Yahweh Shai is worthy of our praises. That's why he's our Lord and Savior. All right. Verse 10, it says, for it became him for whom are all things and by whom are all things. Uh, we can read St. John chapter 1. And verse 3, it says, All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. This is all speaking of Yahweh Shai. All right? That's why he's our Lord and Savior. That's why he's the, the in-between that the Most High set up from the beginning. See that? It says, verse 9, but we see Yahweh Shai, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of the Most High, should taste death for every man, which is the elect man. All right, therefore, the rest of the nation of Israel can be saved through the elect, which the blood of Yahweh Shai, uh, or the blood of Yahweh Shai cover, verse 10, for it became him for whom are all things, and by who whom are all things in bringing many sons into glory to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. All right. 
It says what? Through sufferings. That's why the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 17 tells us and if children then heirs heirs of the most high and joint heirs with Hamashiach if so be that we suffer with him that we may be glorified or, or that we may be also glorified together see that so we must suffer or bear our cross or take upon our cross and follow Yahweh Shai in order to be glorified at the coming of Yahweh Shai all right now the point is what Yahweh Shai is worthy of our praises Yahweh Shai is the Lord and Savior of the elect of the nation of Israel therefore the whole Israel shall be saved all right and that's why Yahweh Shai is the direct connection he is the mediator he is uh the 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 true vine of the most high and Yahweh Shai is worthy of our praises all right unlike um these that have received that strong delusion that they should believe a lie such as rap the news which is the first guy that comes to mind unlike a lot of other people all right that shun our lord and savior Yahweh Shai and don't believe in Yahweh Shai all right we Worship our Lord and Savior and pray to our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. All right. That's the way the Most High set it up to be. All right. And those that don't follow that will, you're going to be destroyed because there is no salvation other than Yahweh Shai. All right. Lord willing, I pray that this made sense and that this was edifying. Shalom. DTA.